my name is Gary Southwell and I'm a guitar maker and have been now for over oh, about 35 years now um, and in that time I've had the pleasure of making guitars for, for many uh, of the great guitarists like uh, Julian Bream and John Williams and uh, a few pop stars like Sting and Paul Simon and uh, as well as lots of lovely guitarists along the way. I've uh, also done a lot of work with historical guitars and restoration work and have worked at times in uh, places like the Metropolitan Museum in New York, the v a in London and um, recently I was over in Ireland and restored a guitar which used to belong to the writer James Joyce. So I've uh, many years of experience and uh, I'm going to show you how to bend some guitar sides today using this uh, wonderful new bending iron. So I just use this uh, spray and as soon as the water's evaporating off from the bending iron, it should be ready to use. I don't have a specific temperature I work at, it's more by just feel and observation. So all I do is I quickly just spray the wood itself like this. It's not really soaking it, it's just getting a little bit of moisture there so that there's a bit of... Uh, steam to create and then I'm just going to sort of warm it up slightly and, uh, and ju I'm just kind of flexing it slightly to get an idea of when it wants to move and how, how it feels so it's very very sort of touchy-feely. I always start in the middle with the waist of the guitar. That's the sort of tightest curve of the instrument and in a sense the, the, the test of how well the sides are going to bend is that sense of if you've, if you've bent the waist and got that done then everything else is going to be fine after that. <laughs> keeping the side moving on it as well so although you're keeping contact with it you're not going to sort of burn the wood too much yeah just a fraction where we're almost at the curve there so. So first of all, I just kind of create the uh, the rough curve, as it were, sort of, and just kind of guessing at what this curve needs to be like. <laughs> it's one of those things that uh, having having done this sort of thing for so long yeah your guess is usually well my guess is usually pretty close so, <laughs> so I'm just uh, yeah I'm not too far there so I'll just bend that ease that back a little bit it's about visually having a good eye for the curve and combining that with having uh, a good feel for how the wood is responding.
when the iron's at the right temperature and, and the wood is warmed up, you don't actually need a tremendous amount of force. It's just um, firm pressure, really. Again, I'm just sort of holding that in place, letting it cool a bit. And it does tend to spring back out a, a little bit once you take it off the iron. So I'll just gonna use the flat of the iron there to just, just make that a little bit too curvy. The, uh, the trickiest part is the fact that you've got in the waist a curve that goes in one direction and then you've then got to create two curves which go in the opposite direction. This is uh, obviously the, the gentlest of the curves. And sometimes in not from the point of view of bending, but from the, but from the sort of point of view of judging it, it's sometimes more difficult to do a very slight curve than it is a, um, a you know a sharp curve. But, uh, so. Okay, so too much there, and a little bit more here. So I'm going to flatten this bit out here first. Now we're just touching that up. So it's just that point like I was saying earlier where the, where the two curves sort of join almost, it's getting the Bent sides, and then that can um, go go in the mould like that. Um, ready for the next bit.